Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, we were hit with a bombshell this weekend. Uh, Microsoft and Asobo announced Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, this is, you know, I have as much information as you guys do. Uh, you see the trailers showing here in the background. Uh, but what is going to happen in our future, okay, as a developer, senior creator, whatever? Um, are you worried? Are you concerned? Uh, uh, put your comments. Uh, let's, let's talk about this and see what's coming up. Um, but my basic, my basic feel of what's happening, we know that information is slowly starting to trickle in of what's what to expect we already know that this is not a dlc this is a standalone installation okay so what that means is is your system going to be big enough to hold both 2024 and 2020 as you try to migrate from one to the other what does this mean for aircraft and things like that? Well, that information starting to trickle in. Oh, I love I love this I love that tornado because that's going to be fun since I've I'm a chaser myself. Um, but the thing is, the biggest thing is going to be your transition from 2020 to 2024. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video here. Okay. Um, what does this mean in terms of, of making a migration? All right, there's different ways you can do it. You can uh, totally forget 2020 and go ahead and install 2024 and take the giant leap without any, uh, any reservation. A lot of people do that. Every, soon, every time something new comes out, people jump on that bandwagon and get it up and running and, and deal with the issues as they go along. Um, if your system is going to be large enough to actually hold both of the core programs, 2020 and 2024, uh, larger hard drives to hold them both, we already know that 2020, depending on what you have installed, um, will dictate how much space that you have to have them both to make that transition. So I think the biggest thing right off the bat is going to have enough space on your drive in order to have them both running as you slowly make that transition from one to the other. Uh, we already know that some information is trickling in about uh, current uh, aircraft and scenery that's in the marketplace and uh, other third parties that they are going to be fully supported. There shouldn't be any issues from installing your your scenery stuff and all that kind of stuff from one simulator to the next. Uh, we'll know as time goes on. As being a, um, a storm chaser, uh, teaching meteorology, a physical geography kind of stuff, um, when... I, I want to put this as an analogy of uh, of weather forecasting because it's, it, in my opinion, it's almost exactly the same. Our models out there, which is what we have right now, our, our, our meteorological models, they're so far out in the future that anything can change between now and what the model is showing. And what that means is that it, it's only accurate the closer you get to the time all right so we have we have six months or so before 2024 or and there's just a lot of time right now before it actually gets released and more information is going to start coming out the closer that we get to time all right as a developer as a as a scenery designer uh, you need to stay on top of that. You need to get involved in the forums all over the place. Uh, Microsoft 
Flight Simulator's official forum. Get in there, start talking to these de these software developers. Find out what's going on. Okay, uh, PMDG. You know, keep get in there to forums. Uh, keep getting information from get the information from the source is basically what I'm telling. There's going to be a lot of speculation in all the Facebook Facebook groups and forums and things like that. Get it from whoever is the source. All right. So am I concerned of what's coming up? No, I think I'm pretty excited of what's coming up. Uh, since some preliminary information has been trickling in that um, aircraft and scenery will be fully supported in 2024. That means to me, the engine's not going to be that much different. Uh, possibly the SDK uh, is not going to be that much different. They're just giving more uh, activities and things like that uh, coming ahead probably better atmospherics if they're modeling tornadoes and things like that. Um, so am I concerned? Not right now. It's too early. Okay. But stay involved. Get on those forums so you are always in the know. Okay. Start asking questions. Hopefully uh, the information will start to uh, start to be released on what to expect like I said I think the biggest issue right off the bat is going to be storage on your machines for having both simulators as you make a transition there's going to be some people that are just going to take the leap go right into 2024 but usually those are going to be your pilot type of people uh, developers, if you are a methodical developer, senior creator, aircraft creator, you're most likely going to have both of them on your system at the same time and testing one back and forth, okay? Uh, so, uh, this is not a thing to be afraid of. It's software development. It's game development, and they are just going to start releasing this stuff all the time. Uh, just like any other software program, you just have to be prepared of what's coming up. I think 2024 is going to be exciting for the sim. I see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I one of my favorite things to do my pa one of my favorite pastimes in the sim is I load up the 747-8 uh, uh, in the um, in the in the uh, water the the firefighting uh livery and i just make some nice passes over some areas pretending i'm putting out fires okay uh that's what i liked about the videos one of the first things they showed was some some airdrops which is kind of pretty cool so i'm i'm excited about it i'm not concerned about it right now um we still have time still keep making that uh keep making your scenery and getting it out there on flightsim.to or whoever you want to start making your uh, getting your scenery out to your people but stay informed go to the forums you know check that stuff all the time and see what the prerequisites are going to be for this upcoming 2024 uh, do not be afraid of it have fun with it be excited about it um let's uh i will i will be keeping you try to keep you up up to date on what's happening with the sdk as we move forward toward the 2024 release and yeah so please subscribe to the channel uh support me if you can buy me a coffee.com slash my physical world uh share comment let's we're in this together guys uh so let's see what kind of exciting stuff is going to be coming toward us but stay informed go to those forums all right and we will see you on the next video see you later